So here you have a DA who treats violent felonies like they're misdemeanors, even when it gets people killed, who's unleashing criminals on the population, but then spending all of his time trying to destroy his political opponents. In this case, elevating a misdemeanor charge to the, a felony for the purpose of taking down Trump. Now, here's what we think, if there is an indictment, will form the core of the charge. Bragg seems to be alleging that Trump violated New York's Business Record Act by falsely reporting the payout to Stormy Daniels as, quote, legal fees. Now, if this were true, it would constitute a misdemeanor, and the statute of limitations has already run out for that, for the bookkeeping error, assuming it even happened. But Bragg apparently is thinking about charging Trump under a felony version of the business records law, one that punishes businesses for falsifying records as a way to commit another separate crime. That would be the campaign finance violation, which, as we mentioned, was not a campaign finance violation. And we know that from the FEC, which polices campaign finance violations. And by the way, if it were, then that would be a federal crime, not something that Alvin Bragg, the Manhattan DA, would be prosecuting. The whole thing doesn't make any sense at all. On a legal level, on a political level, it does, because Trump is running for president. So what's behind this? Is he acting alone? We may soon find out. Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio, who sits in the House Judiciary Committee, is calling on Bragg to testify before the Congress. He wants to hear Bragg explain whether or not he's had any contact with the White House or the Biden DOJ. And if he has, maybe that will explain these charges. He also wants to know whether this prosecution will use any federal funds. Let's hope Alvin Bragg, who is committed to the rule of law, complies or is forced to comply very soon. But no matter what happens, if this indictment arrives, no matter who you voted for or plan on voting for, make no mistake, this is a turning point for the country. Now, the headline here is not that they're being unfair to Donald Trump again, though, of course, they are, or even that Trump is the former president of the United States. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> I mean, though, as long as we are indicting retired presidents, where are the charges against George W. Bush for invading Iraq under false pretenses and giving permanent normalized trade relations to China, which completely wrecked our economy? Where are those charges? Don't hold your breath. In Washington, wrecking your own country is not considered a crime. And of course, George W. Bush knows that well, which is why he doesn't seem worried at all. Criticizing the ruling class, that's what they indict you for. But either way, Donald Trump's former job as president of the United States is not really the point here. Yes, of course you can indict former presidents if they've done something wrong. That's not what this is about. The headline here is that there is, as noted, a presidential race in progress right now. And if you check the polls, you will find that Trump is leading 